Hello and welcome to this next segment from AMS 360. In the title description of this video, you'll find the direct link to our contact page. We welcome your questions, comments, and requests for further content. Thank you for tuning in. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Belanger. In this segment of 0 to 360, we are going to talk about how to create a tool holder from a manufacturer's DXF file. As you can see, I've got the DXF file here on my desktop, and I'm going to simply drag and drop it into PowerMill to import it. Once the file is imported, I am going to clean up all the extra pieces of geometry that I do not need to complete this task. Now, one important operation in this process is to align the center of this tool holder with the y-axis world position. To do this, I am going to choose this wireframe at the nose of the tool holder and from my work plane creation tools, create a work plane at center of selection. Once I have that work plane created, I will activate it and I'm simply going to edit it to align the y-axis up the center of the tool. Okay, now that I have a work plane aligned along the center of the tool holder, I am going to transform the model to the global position. There we go. Now we have this tool holder along the world position y-axis. I don't need the work plane anymore, so I'll simply deactivate it or delete if you wish. With the tool holder DXF file, orientated correctly. I'm going to create a pattern. And use the composite curve tool to trace the profile of this tool holder. It's important to note that you don't need to trace the entire tool holder only up to the gauge face or what would be the gauge face of the machine. Once you have that, you can save the curve, close down the pattern, and I will actually undraw my wireframe so I am only looking at this new curve that we have from the center of the tool holder all the way to the gauge face. At this point, I can go into my tool creation I will create a ball nose tool. Go through the steps to create the tool that we need so that when I go to my holder, all I need to do is choose the pattern from the drop down menu. And then to the right of the drop down menu, there's a button called Create Holder from Selected Pattern. Once I select that, you will see the tool holder has been created to the actual pattern that I got from the manufacturer. Creating tool holders in this method will ensure that you have a safe, collision-free, more accurate check of the toolpath. Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button or follow our social channels to stay connected. You can also use the direct link to our contact page in this title description.